as part of our commitment to the UN Sport for Climate Action Framework, this year at the Australian Open, we're trying to get a good handle on our environmental impacts, maximum play, minimum footprint. We've got a three pillar strategy that we've put together, reducing emissions, consuming responsibly, and future-proofing tennis. Working with our specialist advisors, we now understand what are the chief emission sources around the Australian Open. One of those is obviously the fleet vehicles. Tennis Australia and Kia have always worked really closely together. We're taking these important steps such as 10 EVs in the fleet this year so that we can reduce emissions. I hope to get to the day where we have the 130 vehicle AO fleet with all EVs. Waste management is a big challenge at major events and so we're piloting all sorts of different initiatives. The bottles consumed by players on court, they need the sealed containers, it's part of the rules for doping reasons and so on. The tennis ball tubes, there's 60,000 of them used during the AO and uh, we're going to implement a bespoke recycling pathway for that material. A key part of consuming responsibly is moving away from single use and towards reusables. So we're partnering with Green My Plate. They're going to do the washing up of crockery and glassware here in the beach house, removing thousands of items from landfill and inefficient recycling streams. Environmental sustainability is going to be part of our next growth. You know, we can be real leaders in that space and we can't do it alone. So working with Kia and other like-minded partners and members of our supply chain is going to be critical to reduce environmental impact. Kia. Movement that inspires.